Hi there, welcome back to All Things Home Care. I'm your host, Dana Arnone, and today we have the uh, privilege of sitting with our Town of Oyster Bay supervisor, Joe Saladino. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. And I'm Mildred thrilled. Gallery, who is our community liaison, so she's sitting in with us today so that we could uh, have a nice conversation with you about, you know, our mission and your mission and how maybe the two can come together. You know, we talk about um, creating change in our business, in our environment, and I know that you're about change. Um, you know, when we think about uh, life, we think about, you know, what do we all have in common? What's the common denominator, rather than, you know, you raising taxes? Uh, we cut taxes, <laughs> actually. $1.8 million. Wow, see, good for you. But the other thing, thank you, yes, my husband appreciates that. So, but the thing for us also is that what binds us is um, somebody, everybody has someone that they care about and they love. Um, whether it's their mother, father, sister, whatever, but it's something that we can all have in common. So for us, our mission is really trying to bring um, education to families in the community, uh, maybe seeing what the uh, what the county and what the state will provide and help in as far as um, you know elderly care, uh, home care, uh, helping people get into the industry of home care and health care. So that's really why we wanted to have you want to talk to you about you know what we do and maybe how you guys can help us with our mission as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Well, right. I want to thank you, Dan. Dana and Mildred for having me on All Things Home Care. I'm Town of Oyster Bay Supervisor Joe Saladino, as yes, you mentioned, yes. and I think everyone will want to <laughs> stay tuned to this podcast Yay. because we have lots of great information. We're all finding out about your expertise in providing home care, assisting people, so many folks who maybe their spouse has gotten sick or their parent, or they're just getting along in years and becoming more life experienced and need that help. So by staying tuned to this podcast, we'll all be able to learn about how to get that help, where to go, what your options are. And then also, I think is so important, and I'm thrilled you're doing this, is that you're providing career opportunities for so many people, people who are re-entering the, the workforce, people who are searching for what field to, to get into. Uh, the home health care field is just fabulous, and it's growing so quickly. So folks who have been to college or are planning to go to college or maybe have decided against taking that career path and are looking to get into the workforce, whether they've been living here their whole lives or whether they're new Americans, this is a fabulous field for people to get into. And I know you provide home care to seniors and so many seniors want to stay in their homes. We see that. They love where they live in the town of Oyster Bay, whether it's Massapequa, Massapequa Park, Farmingdale, Beth Page, uh, all throughout our town, Oyster Bay, uh, Bayville, everywhere. So they want to stay in their homes, but they need more help. How does someone... They need quality help, yeah. though, too. Big difference, Big right? Big difference. You can, anybody can supply, you know, a body, but we're trying to make it so that you know, when they're staying home, they're comfortable and they're safe and secure. So that's really what we're trying to, by, by when we're talking about re-entering into the workforce, you know, yes. we, we join schools and we help educate people into going to school to becoming a home health aide because we want to be able to say that, you know, we're proud of the people that we're sending to their, their, our clients' homes, uh, just like anybody would want to take care of their own mother. Sure. We, we always say, before we send somebody, will we send them to my mother, your mother, my father? Um, and if we have to say no, then we really have to think about that. So our th mission not only is you know providing health care, but quality health care, and giving opportunities to people that maybe never thought of becoming a home health mm -hmm. aide, that maybe is something that they can think about. You know, if women now, if their kids are graduating high school, or maybe they're a stay-at-home mom and they just want to help pay for a food bill, or maybe pay the light bill for their husband and they need some flexible jobs you know sometimes people will say oh I'm gonna go work at the school or I'm gonna go maybe work at you know Walmart I don't wherever so for the for the employee the the field provides flexibility very flexible uh, good pay uh, from an entry position but it's even better now because we there there the state is mandated that we pay every year we're going up a dollar I know it doesn't sound like a lot but for 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 the people entering into this job a dollar is a lot of money and An for additional dollar additional sure. dollar every it's year it's changing yeah. the perception is changing we're trying to change the perception because it's That's not great. a scary thing yeah, it it's is a, it's, a, a, it's a great yes. job it morally makes you feel good yeah. um, so it's something that we are, we're trying to change how people look at home care and uh, accepting people into their homes because, uh, you know, we're, we're looking for people um, with, like we say, a moral compass that, uh, that care about people. Yeah. So important. Someone like you, Joe. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Well, <laughs> and we're I, also trying to target those the youth as well. Um, we're, you know, we're trying to create Dana's creating programs in schools where kids that, like you say, that weren't sh 
whether you want to go to college or you don't want to go to college or you're unsure, this is, this is an opportunity um, that you can use it as a stepping stone. You start as a home health aide and you enjoy it, you like it, it makes you feel good. Perhaps then maybe you want to become a nurse or maybe you want to do something else, but it is an option for maybe people that don't have many options. And it's a great, it's a great, it's a great job. I'm so thrilled and our residents are so happy. The fact that your company focuses on a real high level of quality. People are concerned. Uh, if I call a company, who's coming into my home? When I take a nap, what's going on with them in, in my home? But you really provide that very high level of confidence so residents know that the people, by going to an agency, the people coming into their home are professional, reliable, trustworthy Absolutely. and that they're going to get that high quality that they need. Can we talk a little bit about the services? Because I'm not quite sure the list of services, and I'm, so, I'm sure so many people watching the podcast are curious about the different types of services that they could uh, uh, receive from your facility, in, uh, in, your in, in, employees. In, uh, our employees? Yes. Um, well, we go out into the field all the time, and we're always recruiting. We're going to churches. We're going to the high schools. We're going to the libraries to talk to stay-at-home moms. Um, we're really out there. We're more of an information um, uh, type of company as well. We like to share information with people. We like inf people to share information with us. Um, but as far as care, you know, we provide in-home services. We provide home health aides. Um, we provide companions as well. But for the most part, we're, we're dealing with the patients in the home that require skilled care, bathing, dressing, toileting, um, you know, supervision with their medicines, going to the doctor. But, you know, what I say all the time is anybody can start an agency. I mean, it's very easy. Uh, you know, companion agencies are popping up all over the place because everybody sees the need is growing. But the difference between what we try to do versus maybe someone else is that we really try to take that second step to say, you know, how is this going to impact the family? You know, we, we have families, when they call us, they're angry. The patients themselves are angry. Their, their life has changed. Now they have a stranger in their home. Mm -hmm. They don't know where the dishes are. They don't, I mean, something, the simple task of just opening a dishwasher can really aggravate an elderly person. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you. <laughs> but for us, we try to educate and bring all sides together, the family, the aid, and the agency. So for me, it's very important. I've been a nurse a long time. I say that repeatedly on this podcast. Mm -hmm. So I come from a little bit of a different perspective. You know, I want the families to, when they're angry, I want them to understand, yes, the aid is late. They're taking four buses to get to you. It's costing them twenty dollars in transportation. It's windy outside. You live a mile down the road, and this, say the same question every time. Well, why don't they drive? They make eleven dollars an hour. It's going up to fourteen. So let me say fourteen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but still, fourteen dollars. Can you afford gas, a car, insurance in the state of New York? It's hard. So they all rely on public transportation. Maybe there's something you can do too, because the, the buses yeah, really need help. You <laughs> certainly can look into that, and that's the buses are a county issue. Oh, county. Uh, sorry. I'm with the town of Oyster Bay, mm -hmm. but there's so many ways we can all work yeah, together. together. Because yes. that's the one thing. That's how yes. change happens with everyone working together for the same cause, and 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 that is what we're trying to do here and families just speaking of families a lot of the times well most times you know you're at your most vulnerable your loved one is is sick and you have all of this paperwork and everything thrown at you well this company what I'm proud to say is that we really do care we make sure that everything goes as smooth as possible and we understand why the families are fo so frustrated you don't match people when they're frustrated you try to make it easier for them and that's what we try to do to make it the process as easy as possible for them because it is such a sensitive time so if someone is having problems with the day-to-day -day activities getting themselves ready getting themselves showered and dressed or if perhaps they have a conversation with a loved one, one of their adult children, their spouse, or if they have learned that the onset of perhaps dementia or Alzheimer's or many different conditions that would uh, require more help, they should get information sooner than later? Oh, we yes. say on the on the absolutely you know, we, we, knowledge is power. Yeah, but the one that leads mm -hmm. me to you know we we're one of the I believe that we take our information to the people. That's why we did the podcast. That's why we have kiosks in the malls. That's why we're moving to Massapequa Mall because we want to be able to have people just walk on by and say, "Hey, oh, I see a home care coming. Let me just ask a question that I probably would never ask." Mm -hmm. So our kiosks is a stand freestanding kiosks in the Green Acres Mall and in Hicksville, so that if someone's walking by and they see you know uh, information. 
they're, they don't have to call. You know, they're just going to walk up and because we have people standing there all the time that can inf that give them the information or at least tell them who to call. Myself, Mildred, anybody else in my office. And they can speak to a person. A live, oh, yes. A live person. Yes, yes, so yes, many yes, of us are yes, frustrated yes, when yes, you make no, calls it's not yes. and you get the prompts and the electronics. No. This is a live person who you can feel comfortable with. 100%. Who's trained to be on the other side of that phone, mm. listening. Uh, no, they're who, a live person standing at the kiosk. Oh, at the kiosk. Yes, yes. yes. All, day. All day. Wow. Yes. Talk about a, yes. a Talk tremendous Talk about a major commitment. <laughs> Huge commitment. <laughs> wow. So it's those a, kiosks with a live person yes. are at the Broadway Mall in yes. Hicksville in the yes. town of Oyster Bay. They're yes. at the Green Acres Mall in Valley Stream yes. and very soon at the Sunrise Mall in Massapequa. Yes, we're moving yes. in the fall. Please come talk to us. We with have a, a lot of... a live person yes. answer all your questions. Yes. Walk yes. you through yes. a process. Yes. Get you connected with those who can help you. That's amazing. What a tremendous service. Thank you. Okay. We try. We try. I, no, we're it's trying. obvious. Really, it's obvious. Um, and be, we're trying because we know it's something that uh, needs to be worked on and changed and so that you just don't try to figure out when it happens to you. Sure. Um, and a lot of times people don't want to talk about this. This is not a conversation. People want to talk about getting old and, you know, that that next stage of planning. A lot of people, so we're trying to bring it to people so that it's comfortable and it's more ge generic and it's not so scary because it, if, you, if, you are, if you plan for it and you have, uh, you know, a, a plan, then it's not as nerve-wracking. Then you're not as scared. So it's like everything else. Preparation yes. makes the difference. Information makes the difference. Mm -hmm. How can they call you he, right here at the office? Well, they can call it. <laughs> our phone number is 516-308-4840. Or they can access, you know, we have actually a lot of traction through our website. So that if they go to our reliancehssny.com, you can ask questions privately. You know, you, it's, you can tell me. Uh, we get questions all the time. Yes. Or we actually have uh, people that will um, access the website looking for job opportunities. So. Uh, they can call us here. They can ask for me. We have somebody in every department. The other thing that we do, which is a big thing, um, is we apply. We do a lot of community Medicaid here. So we do the application. We do the enrollment. We do the uh, whole step for them. And we really try to educate people that Medicaid is not a scary thing. It's not an embarrassing thing. It's really like a secondary insurance policy now uh, to help assist in paying in the care. Well, we pay taxes yes. into the system yes. our whole Absolutely. lives. Yes. It's time when we reach a certain age yes. to have the assistance Absolutely. from government. Yes. Absolutely. And I know we with seniors, they tend to like to, I shouldn't say only seniors, uh, many of us more life experienced people <laughs> tend to like to pick up the phone and speak to someone. Yeah. Young mm -hmm. people like to use uh, electronics the internet. and I the know. internet. I know. But for, for people who would prefer on the phone, that number again is area code 516-308-4840. Or they can come here. We just had two families just come in off the, uh, you know, uh, that didn't have an appointment. They just had some questions, so they just walked they through did. the door. That's one of the reasons why we wanted to go to the mall, too. Just easy accessibility. So our whole office will be in, in the mall, uh, like I said, in the coming in the fall, um, so where they can just walk on by, you walk in through the mall, you have a question, you just stop in. Uh, that's a great idea. I see many seniors will use the malls as a place for recreation, a place for socializing in the mm -hmm. hot weather. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go for that walk, so much better to go for a walk in the air conditioning in the cold Very weather true. on a rainy day, so much better to be inside the mall, yes. get your exercise, and you can find out how to help a loved one or yourself by visiting the kiosks and, mm -hmm. and uh, getting all the information, yes. but speaking to someone in person. And then for young people or maybe someone who is uh, has a change of life and they'd like to re-enter the workforce, this is a fabulous mm -hmm. opportunity. Yes, mm -hmm. that's really what our focus is right now, is, is really helping women understand that they can go back to work um, if they didn't think they had a life path other than caring for their children. Now mm -hmm. there's an opportunity for them. And they've been caring. A lot of times you'll talk to people and they'd be like, oh, I cared for my mom, my dad. So why not go into the field? It's not... You but really not just, just limited to, to women. I'd say to all. Most because, men, well, you know, know, men, we don't want to exclude them. Okay, that's true. Men, you can come too. I know you have been <laughs> You're very welcome. focused, though, on empowering women. Yes. Empowering, And yes. you recognize yes. by providing these opportunities, it is empowering for women to develop more independence, to develop a, yeah. uh, a, yes. a career. And this is a fabulous springboard to incredible it, careers in health Well, I tell Absolutely. you, I say it all the time that I, you know, I, I walk the walk because I talk the talk. So mm -hmm. I was an aide myself. 
myself okay. at 18, 19 years old. I was a certified nurse's aide. I was a home health aide. This is going back, well, how many years ago did I say 17? 17 years. <laughs> it's actually, in, in it's actually 30, years, 30 years. Year. I've been a nurse 30 years. Wow. So for me, it was like, I mm -hmm. will tell you that I was an aide. It, it gave me the flexibility. I worked a night shift. I worked at four hours while I was going to college to be a registered nurse. And through those years, I, I say to myself, too, is that being an aide, my grades weren't perfect. I wasn't that good of a, I mean, it was a good, it was okay. But being an aide, got, putting that on my college application to get into nursing school, I believe is what got me into nursing school. Sounds was like, my grades. Sounds like your message is more about don't let life's hurdles get in your way, no matter what the situation mm. is. There are great out. opportunities. Yeah. You yes. can work through it. You yes. have to believe in yourself. And I just love, especially in this day and age, so important to be providing women with more opportunities, empowering women, even though this is open to, to everyone and it's just not about one particular aspect. It's a tremendous scope of, of different uh, career opportunities Absolutely. in home health care. And they start right here. They can. We'd love that. That's yes. so important. <laughs> That's really true. wonderful. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Town of Oyster Bay has opportunities, and people can contact the Town of Oyster Bay. We have our website, oysterbaytown.com. They can look into everything from our free concerts and, and free uh, recreational programs to how to look for work. And we provide many of those services, so we're happy to partner Thank with you. you to help people recognize that this is a, an excellent career path for so many, as you said, yeah. those who decide the college path, those who decide that they want to take a different path, uh, someone who is re-entering the workforce as an adult, maybe their, their kids are, are growing now. There's a wide variety of reasons why they want, might want to start a new career. Yeah. And, and this sounds like such a great way to mm -hmm. help others to work in an area where there's tremendous growing need it just makes sense all around. Yeah, thank you. And we're hoping that others will join our mission and in, in creating this change and bringing what Dana wants, uh, home care to the people, so that it, it is an easy conversation uh, to have, and that pe it, that it's that it's. It's something that it, it's in everybody's face, you know, um, that it's not something that you only talk about when uh, a loved one is in that situation. So sure. it's just something that we that to put on the on the on the table of to, of, of topics that and are very, very important. More people want to stay in their home as they age. They, it's very important to them. It's good for their psyche. Yes. It's good for them medically. It's a it's a fabulous choice. And far more affordable, but to have a home aid uh, company like yours who's so reputable to send people there and learning about this as early as possible. So this sounds like it's fabulous for people who are looking for work, fabulous for seniors who need that help and, and their family members, and they can find out more by calling Dana Arnone and Mildred at 308 Four eight four zero. Yeah, so you can uh, visit us on our website, ReliancehSSNY.com. Um, so we want to thank you. It thank was a pleasure. So My Absolute pleasure. pleasure, yes. And so if there's any questions, I guess they can visit the, the Town of Voice Debate website for more uh, job opportunities and any information about you. You've done a great job in the six months that you've been in office. Oh, so we so appreciate your dedication to our Town of Voice Debate. I think it's a great thank thing. You. And we it's, needed um, you. Yes. <laughs> well, the I'm, town needed the him. The town needed him, absolutely. I'm Town of Voice Debate Supervisor Joseph Saladino. So privileged to be a guest here with Dana Arnone and Mildred on all things home care. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.